Joshua Collier, soy de Austin, Texas. Um, soy miembro de Bicis a través de las fronteras. Bikes Cross Borders um, eh, surge en el año 2000 con el fin de poner uso a recursos um, que habían llegado a un centro comunitario que se llamaba uh, la colectiva Rizoma, or the Rhizome Collective, um, con el eh, el fin de, de proveer transporte a trabajadoras y trabajadores de las maquiladoras de Piedras Negras. Se han donado um, eh, más de 800 bicicletas, ya aproximadamente eh, entre 800 y 1000 eh, bicicletas. Y se han hecho eh, mínimo 10, eh, digo 13 uh, recorridos en es, estos 14 años. Lo principal es un cariño y hospitalidad muy grande, tanto en las, los pueblos sureños de Texas, los más cercanos en los cuales tenemos amigos que nos reciben, y los más lejanos, eh, donde a veces nos han recibido en algunos años y se acuerdan de nosotros. Um, y pues eh, es una emoción, una curiosidad, uh, qué van, qué van a hacer, nos preguntan, les contamos sobre el proyecto. Y, Um, es eh, la verdad siempre es alentador eh, y inspirador uh, la, eh, el cariño y la solidaridad y la hospitalidad que se nos brinda en el camino. My name is Alicia and I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Biking. Uh, of course, is like a big like physical challenge and like mental challenge. Uh, I've done it a few times now, and uh, I don't know if it gets easier, but you learn different ways of doing it and like feel like confident. And it's, it's been really great to have so many new people all the time um, and see that people um, that anybody can do it. When you're biking through the country as a group, people are just so amazed and surprised that. Um, they want, they like love what you're doing. You, nobody, nobody hates bicycles. Um, they love the idea of it, and so we just had lots of people helping us, um, helping put find games places to stay, and just being like friendly and welcoming and curious. Um, and when we got, we crossed into Mexico at uh, Matamoros, we just had such a great welcome. They have like kind of a new um, organization there. Um, Doble Rueda, and um, they were excited that we were down there, and we were excited to meet them, and they're like just like this kind of burgeoning cycling community there. That was just amazing to feel that sort of hospitality um, when we crossed the border. And, um, some of the people that we've met that we were going to donate, that we're donating bikes to, like at Ziwame, Mochia, um, like hearing their stories, and like how even like a little thing, like somebody like helping them get a bike and learning how to ride a bike because some of those women have never had the chance to, is like how like exciting and empowering that can be for a person. And it's just a good reminder. It's like, oh yeah, this is like, it's small, but it's really special um, and really important. Uh, my name is David Matuszczak and I'm from uh, San Marcos, Texas, Tejas. Um, this, this experience, this whole journey um, through Mexico on bicycles has been absolutely amazing. Probably one of the best experiences, the best trips that I've had in my entire life, honestly. Um, and I think that uh, Pueblo Bicicleta, uh, Bicicletera uh, is an awesome organization. I think you guys do so much good for the community. Uh, I'm Nico. Uh, I'm from Australia, a town called Federal, which is on the East Coast, um, a small town. It was a, a really awesome trip to help inform me about, um, I guess, the, uh, you know, the political situation in Mexico and um, the political situation around the border on both sides. <laughs> I'm Julia, um, I'm from North Carolina, or I live in North Carolina, I'm, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. So going through South Texas made a big impact on me, um, seeing that getting close to the border, how much fear there is of um, 
people crossing over the border from Mexico and seeing how like irrational that is and unreasonable. People were really hospitable to us when we were traveling in Texas and in Mexico. And here people are like, like let's take your picture, let's take a photo together. And it, it's cool, like it was awesome seeing that there were so many folks who were so excited that we were coming down and to like have us. I'm like really inspired by this project because donating bikes to people is who need them is cool, but also like biking 600 miles was empowering and fun to go on this trip with people and also um, just the I don't know like crossing the border on bike or by foot like made a big impact on me because it seems like it's it's imaginary <laughs> border is imaginary it's like totally invented by people mi nombre es Drúbal Eduardo Gutiérrez, soy originario de Matamoros, Tamaulipas eh, y trabajo en la agricultura. Nunca había tenido la oportunidad de, de experimentar amor completamente así, de completamente extraños en el camino, desde organizaciones de, de no lucro a personas solas en sus propiedades, hasta iglesias que nos abrieron las puertas para, para pasar la noche. Y la diferencia entre Estados Unidos y México también, ¿no? Que es muy, muy, muy aguda. Claro, eh, siempre he tenido en cuenta, ¿no? Que la bici es una de las, de, las, de las maquinarias más eficientes que hemos podido crear, ¿no? Como seres humanos. Y, y verle, ver la reacción que le entregas a una persona que, que, que es un desecho, ¿verdad? De Estados Unidos, ¿no? Que es un gran gasto que se hace en Estados Unidos. Que todo tiene a la basura por cualquier cosita y ver que a ellos les va a servir en su transcurso de su casa, trabajo, trabajo, a sus, a sus quehaceres, es muy grato, es bastante grato, es una de las cosas más bonitas que he experimentado en este viaje. Eh, entregarle una bici a, a, un, a una niña, a un niño que, que, que en su vida se ha subido, ¿verdad? Y que re, hace cambiar todos sus esquemas, ¿no? A cómo considerar los, los modos de transporte. Y tratar de inculcar eso, ¿no? Como un medio de transporte válido es muy importante y pues no sé las organizaciones que a donde fuimos a, 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 a tierra y libertad que están en constante lucha de los 70 a Siguame con su con su lucha muy muy chida no con los con las comunidades indígenas aquí en Monterrey y con ustedes de pueblo bicicletero que es un que es todo gente bonita gente con conciencia eh, es muy grato ver sus caras y ver cómo cómo ellos se iluminan a saber que hay gente que todavía les importa tener convivio de ese tipo, ¿no? Porque es un vínculo que no, ellos no están acostumbrados tampoco. Hey, my name is Paul and I'm from Austin. I've gotten to know so many cool people. People have been so, so amazingly hospitable to us, both in America and, and in Mexico and in Monterrey. And, uh, it's just, it's a galvanizing experience uh, surrounding bikes and being excited about bikes. And I got to see people riding their first bikes. And, and, and they were the bikes that we had brought down here. And that's just really exciting to, to be a part of that. And I want to help other people learn how to repair their own bikes and, and, uh, and become empowered like that. Because I really think it is empowering to, to have this, this means of transportation that can really get some distance. It, it's, still, it's still a little amazing to me that I biked from Austin to Monterey and, and I did it with a bike that I built. Thanks.